Hey everybody, it's Amy Gretchen. Thank you so much for joining me. So in today's video, I'm working on days two and three in my 2022 December Daily Album. And I'm first starting off with this beautiful die from Spellbinders. So I had been eyeing this for a couple of months and finally went ahead and snagged it. I knew that I wanted to use this in my December Daily. I definitely, you will see a lot of stitching from me. The other dies in this set, if you saw at the beginning, they were also very beautiful and you will definitely see more of this set um, in my album. And I actually do have a couple other stitch dies that I will likely use. I mean, I always have the idea of using them, but then, you know, you never really know. But anyway, hopefully I will get to them. But I definitely wanted to use this tree die um, when I was talking about decorating the tree and that's what this day is all about. Um, I was considering cutting this out with a die cut. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted this to go and I was thinking that I could just have it be on the page and stitch right on the page or I could pop it up. I kind of liked the idea of popping it up but you could see me just kind of thinking about it. So I grabbed over um, all of my DMC floss. I do store it by uh, color, which has actually made it so awesome when it comes to picking out colors that are more monochromatic. So if you wanna know more about how I do that, I actually have a system that helps me know exactly where they go back in. So I'd be happy to share that with you if you guys would wanna know. So in just a couple of seconds, I'm actually going to slow this footage down because as I was editing this, I realized it's pretty obnoxious because I just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, um, a lot like my other stitch video, but I did want to show you how I start it and how I finish it. So um, I'm going to start the first one and you'll see me end the first one and then you'll see me start the second one. So we're going to go backwards a little bit here. So I'm just finishing the top and we're kind of working it around and you'll see that I go through several of the stitches on the back and then I'm going to make a loop do that one more time and create a knot because I want to tie it off a little bit. Now you could probably tape it to the side if you wanted, but sometimes depending on the color of your stitching, it shows through. Plus I was considering die cutting this out. So that was another thing that I took into consideration there. And then I just put the thread through it one through a bunch of the other threads one more time and then just cut it off. So here's where I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly how I start. So I usually take out a yard or 36 inches from uh, my skein or whatever it is that, I, that I'm using. Like I said, I'm using DMC floss and I take out one thread at a time. And the easiest way to do this is just to grab the thread from the six stranded um, thread and then just pull it out and it comes out super easy. I'm using three threads together. So I did it three times because you can't do three at once. I've tried and it just makes a really big mess. So you just put them together and they, you know, um, they go together really great. And then you start your stitch. Well, you, you know, you thread your needle and then you start your stitch. So the first time I actually tried to use some tape and it was kind of a disaster because there's hardly any space on the back to tape it to. So this time I decided to leave a little bit of the tail and I'm stitching the tail in, which I decided was hindsight was a little bit tricky just because I'm stitching in around, but I do end up making it work, but you'll see that um, I kind of fumble around with it at the beginning. I do get better at it when I start the other ones, but of course that's not something that you'll see because I'm not gonna make you watch all the stitching from, um, from everything. But anyway, I'm just starting in the middle and then I'm going out to what the edge and I'm, I'm going back to the middle and then I'm going back to the edge and I'm working from the, let's see, the bottom left and then going around the circle to the bottom right. So anyway, it's actually pretty easy to figure out and there's also a lot of pictures online as well that you could, I don't think it came with, I was gonna say, did it come with instructions? Actually, I think the back, 
of uh, the paper that came that it came on or that cardboard I think it did show you what the stitching should be like but you like I said you can also get like a lot of ideas from online and um, see how it is stitched as well so just start at the middle and then go out through the edges and I can't remember if I have you guys see all of it nope see you don't have to sit through all of it, but now you can see I finished all of it. And I just kind of did a gradient look starting with the lightest pink to the darkest. And I really, really love how this turned out. So my original idea was to have that, to have my journaling off to, um, onto the card. And I really like that tis the season. But then when I saw that plaid, I was like, oh, this plaid would go so great with the cream and then the pink colors that I decided to use. And so now I was like, wait, do I, how do I want to do this um, with my journaling? Because of course I was just thinking of typing out my journaling onto like a card, right? So what I decided to do was do my journaling and do some word strips. So I really did like the plaid so much that I decided to get some of that same uh, cream cardstock and just write out my journaling in strips and then cut, cut all of that out. And then you're going to see me adhere this on. But of course, first I'm gonna fussy cut out this file, this has, um, I don't know if you can read it, but it says day two. This is a file from Paisley Press. I believe it came from December is my fave number four, but I will have that, uh, I will have that linked below because of course all of her files are still available. So I just trimmed it up and then adhered everything down and I really love the look of it and I really love that plaid so much. I thought it went so great with the, uh, with the pink and just, it just looked very classy to me. So now I'm going to adhere uh, the day one on the back of day two. So you'll see me do this a lot where I will end up waiting to do the holes until I have the page that's gonna be on the back of it completed. I don't know, it just makes me feel a little bit better. So you can see that I have these gold stars and I really wanted to use them. I really thought that they were fun and really pretty but they were super thick and I've done this before in my album where I've had some super thick embellishments and these are pretty sharp because they're pointy and it's acrylic and it will tend to destroy whatever's on the other side of it if it's a photo or like a pattern paper so I decided that I didn't want to use these embellishments in the end but you'll kind of see them pop up I don't even know if I show you exactly what I put on it, but it is just the same thing, some stars, but a different type and not so thick. I think they might just be made out of paper. I can't now remember. So now I'm going to punch the holes in uh, the journaling card and I'm just using the page before it as a template. I actually need to make a template just because I get, sometimes I get nervous punching through holes that have already been punched through because I don't wanna make them you know, any bigger. So anyway, you guys, I should have just left it like this. I should have just said, oh, this looks great, walked away. You can see I've got my glue and I was deciding about that star. But I really thought under the tree it needed something and I also wanted to back it. So I decided to cut out with that die out of gold uh, cardstock and put it behind it because I felt like it, need, you know, you could see through to the hole. So whatever was going to be behind it, that was going to show through. And I really loved the gold. And now I'm just measuring under the tree to figure out how much space I actually have for this word. So when I'm creating it, I know what I'm going to do. And instead of having the words stacked, I actually have tis the season all in a line because I felt like I didn't have enough room for the stack and in fact if I knew that I was going to do this I probably would have had the tree just a little bit higher instead of dead center so anyway the next step was to go on my computer I had the digital file and create it and get it ready to send through my silhouette using the foil quill so that is what I am prepping right now. I actually have a silhouette mat with the this metallic mat, or not metallic, metal mat, so that I could use some magnets with it. And now I'm gonna just send it through the machine. But unfortunately, and this seems to be a theme for some of the other days that I've worked on, I made a really big mistake. And I thought I thought of everything, 
But as you can see, it was, it's actually, it was a little hard to see there, but above the season is like some really big scratches because I accidentally started cutting it instead of sketching it. I did not change the tool. Instead of being on the left side, I needed to change the tool to be on the right side and it totally messed it up. So at this point, I did not want to stitch that another time. And so I decided that I would cut the tree out or you know, die cut the tree out instead of cutting it. So I thought this will be my opportunity to do, you know, what I was thinking about doing originally, which was popping it up on a piece of paper. And I could have just used the same cream, but I decided that it would be really fun to have more of a contrast. And I thought that this Desert Storm, this is Nina Desert Storm Classic Crest. I thought this would look really good with the pattern paper and with the cream and with the pink and... I really, really liked it. Now, again, I could have just left it just like that because I think it looks really good, but I wanted to add some texture. And so I grabbed over my embossing folders and I was specifically looking for my dots. This is from Cuddlebug. And I just thought the dots would go really well with all of the holes in the die cut. So I'm taking my paper and I'm just spritzing it. And I gotta be honest, I have no idea what this is going to look like when I put it through the machine, get the emboss. I, don't, I didn't know if it was going to wreck the foil or what it was gonna do. And I actually think it looks okay. So you can see that I'm now switching that out for a different panel. And the reason was because, and I know this was actually, it's hard for you guys to see because on video it looked great. You could really see that gold foil. But in real life, and I don't know if it was because I was doing it under lights, I could not see that yellow gold. It was really hard for me to even read the word unless I tilted it a specific way. And so I was like, gosh, I don't want that look in my album where you're having to pick up the album and like move it just so you can read the word. And so I opted to change to a rose gold. So you guys, that is going to be it for day two. That is the final version. Now I did remember as I was talking, the stars that I do use, and you will see it in the photo, is that top of the tree, I just ended up die cutting it from that same gold card stock and I put it on the top of the tree and then I also added it to the wreath. All right, so moving on to day three. So day three is all about uh, shopping online, which is really funny because I could have, I should have told this story years and years ago, which I never have, but I wanted to highlight just how much I love being able to shop online because I'm not a really big shopper. So that is where this story came from. And this day also had a couple versions, or I should just say I had an idea using this gift foil plate that I have but my uh, machine was not working. And so I've got to figure that out because I'm definitely gonna wanna be using some of my foil plates in uh, later projects. But anyway, it, it didn't work, it wasn't working, so I'm trying not to be frustrated with it. But anyway, I ended up changing my design. So instead of having uh, the pattern, I was gonna do a pattern where that holiday and where the um, holiday story is, that was going to, just be like a pattern paper, so to speak. I ended up just changing my design and having my journaling there instead, instead of off to the side on a three by four card, which was originally what I was thinking. And I'm so glad, I mean, I'm not glad that something's going on with my machine, but I'm glad that that's what ended up happening because I really love this change. I, I much prefer, I mean, I don't know what it would have looked like with the paper, but I much prefer it with the story off to the side and just having it all on one page. And I just love the way that looked. So I wanted to add one more thing onto this. I felt like I wanted a little bit more red. Now you can see that there's red in that target box, but I wanted to just add a little bit more fun to this. So I grabbed over this Baker's twine that I have, kind of looks like a candy cane, and I just glued that uh, right on to the seam so it kind of, you know, gave more of a break there, but also a little bit of an added interest instead of just having, you know, paper and a photo. 
And sorry that you don't see me actually put the glue on. My head was getting in the way. Like all you could see is my big head and my gray hairs. So I decided to edit that out. But I did actually put glue just right onto the seam. And then I'm going through a bunch of my chipboard to see if there's anything more I wanted to add. I felt like I just needed one more, just one more thing, right? Just one more little thing, uh, maybe to the photo, just to kind of even it out. And then I'm just going to finish off this day by punching in the holes. Again, I am using the previous page as a template. I, like I said, I kind of hate doing that, but anyway, there you go. So that is going to be it, you guys, for day three. And I will, I, I decided to keep this in because I wanted to show you, I did make several versions of the album uh, when I went originally to make it. And because of the colors that I've chosen to use, the pinks, the creams, I'm feeling like the green may not fit, so I'm considering changing my album to red because I've got it, but honestly, what I really want to do is go cream, so I may end up just making something completely different. We'll see, but anyway, I decided to leave that in so you guys could see. Anyway, guys, that's it for days two and three. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you guys and your support for my channel. And I really appreciated all the love for uh, my December daily videos. So we'll see you next time. Bye.